Yo, what is going on guys? Today we have another mod preview and I'm really excited about this one. This is uh, the F3 Kitty and you know what that stands for. It's an F350 guys, come on. But here, uh, big shout out to Old Drifter for giving early access on this. When he reached out to see if I was interested in checking it out and giving some feedback, uh, I was actually pretty excited. I like working with the mod developers in the SnowRunner community and some of the work that Old Drifter has done has been quite amazing. I think the F3 Kitty is going to show us that as well. This is a, uh, I guess you would say a beta build, okay? Uh, Old Drifters put a ton of work, so much work into it. I couldn't imagine putting that kind of work into a mod myself. I would have probably gave up at some of the obstacles that he faced and overcame. But at the end of the day, uh, this is still a work in progress. There may be a couple of rough things that you're going to notice. It's not a big deal because it is going to be fixed before the actual release. And what you see today doesn't reflect the real release uh, in any way, it's just a, a little bit of an example of what's to come, basically. So don't judge the book by its cover right away. Wait until the release happens, download it, drive it, and then make your decision. That's what these previews are all about, though, to let you know what's coming and give you a little glimpse of it. So you know what to do. Drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel, guys. Let's jump into it. <laughs> Alright guys, time to customize up the F3 Kitty. You know what this is, right? Alright, engine options. We get the SI8V 2900 TTA or the GB8V 2300C. We're going to go with the 23 or 2900 TTA. Um, yeah. Okay, gearbox, Allison, 6-speed, suspension, stock or not stock. We're going to go with the not stock. It's not for towing, it is very soft. Well, that makes sense. It's going to be a nice little uh, crawler here. I also see we got an Ontario license plate. Hmm. Is Old Drifter Canadian? That is the question. Uh, tires, we got Yokohomas in 35, 37, and 39. Off road, we got Tayo tires, open country in 35, 37, 39. And mud tires, we got 35, 37, and 39 boggers. The boggers are nice, all right? You can't deny that, but I really like the original, authentic, legitimate, realistic tires. I put too many words into that, but we're going to go with the 39 Toyo tires, open country. Winch, engageable one, two, and three. I don't know what the difference is. Frame add-ons, we got the pickup bed, and we also got a spare wheel that will sit in the back. Gives us two spare wheels, rear bumper. We got side steps, tow ball hood we got the stock hood and rims we get the stock wheel and colors we could make this whatever we want so back many many years ago i actually had a red f-150 so i think we're gonna go with the red for this one let's pull it out and see what it could do all right, let's start her up all right gauges are working we got the cane ranch edition we got the uh rear view camera coming from the Bed tail light, I assume. The interior is incredibly detailed. I'm honestly really impressed with this. This is uh, this is really well done. Let's look at the exterior. Things are looking good. Okay. Let's map out our journey here. We're gonna go on a little bit of a cruise. And yep, same thing. I I really want to get this. To the next region this seems like quite the test to do so um, but I'm actually gonna leave it at the gas station instead and I'm gonna hope we don't hit any damage along the way I'm gonna leave it into uh, two-wheel drive for the time being the suspension play and movement for a soft suspension it's really nice so a couple of quick things I'm noticing and you know when I'm talking to you guys about this it it's not to point it out like it's a big deal it's so that, you know, if Old Drifter watches this, Old Drifter can get some ideas. We got that little glitchy thing happening, the differential. Uh, let's change the suspension mode. Sometimes things like that change things like this. So let's actually open the hood while we're here. We got a fully detailed engine. That's looking good. Um, we just opened the tailgate by mistake because I'm not paying enough attention. So let's check out the tailgate. We got our two spare wheels. And I love how realistic that is. They match the rims that are on the truck. But the more important factor is just the fact that you're getting two spare wheels. Not out of one, but two, which is realistic. A lot of people put the spare wheels in there and you get, you know, 
uh, like three spare wheels out of one. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, and the rear drive shaft isn't reaching the gears. So, again, minor things, guys. It's a work in progress. The mirrors work, which is incredible. Engine sounds are balanced. You know, if anything, the engine sounds are a little underpowered. It sounds really good, though. So, I'm not saying it sounds bad, but uh, with the cat, you think it might be a little bit louder, maybe. I don't know. It sounds good, though. Suspension play and movement's going really good. We haven't hit any damage yet. We're in automatic. Still haven't had to put it into four-wheel drive or anything crazy like that. Um, we've gotten some decent speed. Now we're going to see how it handles, not only over these rocks, but also just in the mud in general. We'll pick it up in high gear, actually. Try to drive around this tree. High gear is nice and balanced. It's not a E gear. Yeah, it's got some top speed in the range of the gear, but... Um, it seems quite balanced and here we're digging in a little bit that's to be expected we're in rear wheel drive oh we're burying this kitty this is uh yep i don't want to say we're stuck because we're not stuck let's pop it into low gear because i don't think we're gonna need the uh all-wheel drive right away i think we can make do yep boom just like that that is actually quite remarkable that we were able to do that. We'll pop it in a low gear until we get through some of this thicker mud. This is, uh, this is kind of crazy. The picture didn't capture it. Okay, I was curious. I was thinking, like, this is a good photo opportunity. Is the picture going to capture this issue? Didn't seem to. I'm digging this. This is looking good. I think we go right here, yep. All right, now we're in some thicker mud, so realistically, we gotta pop this in all-wheel drive. We don't we don't have a choice anymore. We're still doing pretty good. Pop it in a high gear now. There we go. We're digging and chewing, but that's kind of what you expect here, right? Pop it in a low plus. We're doing really good overall. Capture another shot for Drifter there. Now we're getting, yeah, we were we were cutting it pretty tight there when it comes to the water levels. This is relaxing, I guess is probably the best way to try to describe this. This is nice. We are we are crawling along here in this F3 kitty. Absolutely no issues. It is being put through its paces to say the least. And just taking it like a champ. We almost stalled her out there. If anything, I might be a little too hard on it. Okay, now we gotta crawl out of this. There we go.
that was quite the uh, mudding adventure. It was almost, it was almost like it was perfectly balanced. Like old Drifter when he was balancing the engine, the tires, the transmission, and the suspension. He's like, I'm gonna take it down this exact road that Canadian is gonna drive it in. Now that was great. The one thing that I think stands out the most about this mod so far is its realism, because this handles like an old F350. Yeah, we haven't taken any damage yet, but it's got a soft suspension. We haven't done anything too crazy with it. It seems a little balanced. Let's pop in a low gear here and crawl through this sludge. Oh, we are digging. Wow. I didn't quite realize just how bad that was. I had no idea. Now we know. We learned our lesson. That is incredible. No, we're, we might have dug ourselves a little deep here. Okay, let's winch a little bit. We'll keep it in a low just until we're out of this. I think I kind of cut the wrong way. And the current's taking us a little bit. Oh, man. We're taking some damage, and I, I know we can't crawl this, but it's getting really challenging to try to reposition. Oh, we might we might have it there. We might. And we did take a little engine damage, and I expect it with how deep we were. And now we're struggling to crawl out of this. This is, uh, this is a little intense. This is realistic, but it's intense. Feather it into low minus. Low, low. You can see we're axle hopping a little bit here. It is really trying. I don't want to winch unless we have to because there's not... There we go. There's not really any winch points close to us that would be viable, in my opinion. Sometimes if you winch when you don't need to, you just end up causing a little more damage. Now, I don't know if I miss a snorkel. And if I... If there's not a snorkel, I'm sure it's on the list. I'm sure Drifter's going to have one in for it, so I wouldn't stress about it. But next time I take the F3 kitty out, I'm going to have to try to remember the snorkel. We just keep getting a little bit of momentum. And then get absolutely bogged down again. Which is realistic. I love this high gear. This, out of any of the mods, aside from Big Dobbs and Iceberg, uh... This high gear seems the most balanced aside from theirs. Like, it's really rare to find a mod developer who balances the high gear out appropriately. And yeah, we took some damage here. And yeah, I'm going a little fast, but I wanted to see how it would handle hitting the rock like that. The weight seems really balanced, which is also good. Now, this is going to be a little challenging to drive over. And it's digging in in all the right spots. Oh, man. And we made it to the road, guys. We're actually going to... I was going to go to the gas station, but we're actually going to park it right here. Let's back up, get a better spot. All right, guys. This is it for the mod preview. Again, big thank you to Old Drifter for providing me access to do this preview. You know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Drop a sub on the channel, guys. And uh, when it gets ready for release, we'll follow up with another video. We'll catch you with the next one.